Assalamualaikum viewers, how are you all today? I hope you are all okay. Uh, so today I'm going to make for dinner a naan and paneer butter masala. So it's basically my two daughters' favorite food. So I'm making their own favorite food today. Uh, so I'm going to show you both ingredients and then we start to make first naan dough so we can keep it aside while we are making our food and then we are going to make for about 15 to 20 minutes after naan. Naan is very quick to make, but we are making naan in our oven, on top, I mean. So, but it's very yummy though. So, here, my ingredients. Here, I've got paneer. I have chopped my paneer in very small dices. I've got here salt. I've got here uh, cumin. I've got here tomato, onion, already diced, cinnamon stick, ginger. I have water here for later on, garlic sugar uh, this is a coriander powder garam masala chili powder to, according to your taste butter cream and yogurt and here i have got here now 300 gram of bread flour i've got here yogurt to make dough approximately 150 ml 25 gram of butter i've got here uh, baking powder yeast and water as well little bit and sugar yeah not forgetting sugar for my dough so let's get started we need to make dough and let it rest in a warm place for about half an hour so here i put here uh, flour i'm going to put here yeast Because this is instant yeast, otherwise you have to put in a lacrimum water for uh, with the water and sugar. But I'm not going to put any in any lacrimum water. Now here, mm -hmm. I've got here very small, like it's a half teaspoon of baking powder here. Half, yeah. And I've got here seven gram of um, yeast, yeast, yeah. And uh, one teaspoon of sugar normally we put because of uh, in yeast but we can put again here as well now i'm going to put 25 gram of butter and now i'm going to make like a crumble first together yeah yeah so now i'm going to make dough with yogurt yeah but I have here a little bit of water. If I think it's enough, it's fine. Otherwise, I'm going to add a little bit of water. See, I need water because the dough is not... Yeah, because it's still dry. Eh? So look, little bit of water. Should be lukewarm water, yeah? Yeah. So I just had hardly 50 ml of water in here, not much, yeah, so look, my dough is ready, I have kneaded it properly, it's very yummy, you can put uh, Nigella seeds as well if you wish, some people put even uh, sesame seeds. But I like plain as it is because some kids they don't like with some seeds so I leave it as it is plain. Yeah, so now I'm going to pour here, put here a clean film and uh, then let it set for half an hour. At least. Yeah. So I put clean film and I leave it as a side in a like warm place and after I finish cooking, I'll show you when it's ready. Yeah, so now we are going to start to cook our paneer, butter masala. So for that, we need butter because it's a key ingredient is a butter. So I'll put some butter, few butter. Let it melt. Little bit. I've added cumin. 
and cinnamon stick and I will let it crackle for a little bit no. Now I'm going to add here onion. Ginger and garlic. Then let it cook cook little bit. Yeah. So I'm letting it cook little bit. Now I'll add all masala, chili powder, gura masala. Coriander powder, salt to taste. Okay. Now I'm going to add fresh tomatoes. So because I could use passata, but the main reason I need to grind them. And this, they are fresh tomatoes and more yum yum yum, tasty. I'm letting it, letting it cool, it, uh, cook little bit, uh, not in very high flame, medium to low. And I'm going to put lid so they start start to cook in a with the lid. Look, it's, my tomatoes is like nearly mashed as well. I'm just going to add little water here. Little bit only, yeah, to make like a gravy. Yeah, now I need to grind them all. So, because it's very risky grinding in here, I'll put in my jar here. On you can let it cool down and grind, but I can do because I will use my safety. But you can let it cool a little bit down and then grind all and take the cinnamon stick out, yeah? So, yeah, so just grind it. on again flame and I put back here looks yummy, looks yummy. it's a family of butter chicken <laughs> but it's paneer masala yeah so now I'm going to pour here paneer and let it cook little bit I, actually I can add little bit more water so to make little bit gravy and I'm letting it cook like approximately three to four minutes uh, in low to medium to low heat, yeah. And yeah, so it's uh, I'll let it four minutes at least to like make a paneer cooking. Paneer is actually cooked, yeah. But yeah, <laughs> so I'm letting it cook now, and then I'll come back to you. Uh, to pour here yogurt and cream and sugar in um, uh, my paneer is cooking I want to show you my nan how to make it so we'll make food at the same time so look it's raised already so now I'm going to need a little bit here and I'm going to divide this in Approximately, I don't know, depending how we want, yeah, but the size is like this, yeah. So I'll make here six, seven. So I have already put here preheating my tawa. I don't know in English what to say, but yeah. So. I'm going to make uh, like a no zang, not round. Because normally man, they are not round. So, so this is upon you what size you want, what style you want. 
how you eat in your house or how you normally buy this so this is my nan see so i'm letting it little bit get out more while i can roll another one so i love this nan and you don't need to go buy because it's just waste of my time and i am cooking in between before I start to cook my food, I can make my dough and leave it aside for half an hour. So, when the dough is raised, and that's it. Oh, I just love this naan. Okay, so this is hot already. So, I'm going to put this in here. raising my nan is like in you don't have tandoor but you don't need tandoor at home you can make itself at home in your cooker see wow lovely lovely nan so i will put my nan in the plate and just spread butter in it is so yummy And now I'm going to make. Yeah. So now in between I'm making naan. I'll make. I made low uh, flame and I put here uh, cream and the yogurt. Little bit. I'll put uh, in the citron low and sugar little bit. Yeah. Now I'm going to stir it. Look. It looks amazing. So, paneer, masala butter is ready. Paneer butter masala. So now I'm going to do my plating and come back to you. And this is cream, just to look nice. Beautiful. It's yum yum. So viewers, I hope you like my recipe. Nan is well. And uh, believe me, uh, you can make it at home. So, yeah. Um, I hope you will um, uh, um, like my recipe. Yeah. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to press the bell icon. And not forgetting to share as well. Uh, so, see you till the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.